It is uh, my pleasure today to join you to present the State Department's International Religious Freedom Report for 2015. As Secretary Kerry has said, the purpose of this annual report is not to lecture. It is to inform, to encourage, and ultimately to persuade. And now I'm pleased to yield the floor to Ambassador Saperstein for his remarks. Thank you very much. David. Per our congressional mandate, we document the status of the universal human right to religious freedom in 199 countries around the world. In Pakistan, the government continued to enforce blasphemy laws for which a punishment can be death sentence for a range of charges, including defiling the Prophet Muhammad. Christians as well as Muslims were arrested on charges of blasphemy in the last year. In 2016, after a Hindu convert to Islam was accused of blasphemy, two Hindu youths were shot and one died from his wounds and ensuing communal violence. We remain deeply concerned also over authorities targeting and harassment of Ahmadi Muslims for blasphemy, violations of anti-Ahmadi laws, and other crimes. The protection and promotion of religious freedom remains a key foreign policy priority for the United States.